Welcome to Simply Fun Games. We are so excited to share some fun information with you on what makes our games so special, beginning with 10 of our best-selling games representing a variety of skill and age groups from 3 to 103. But before we jump in, here are some great things to know about all our Simply Fun games. Most of our games can be played in 30 minutes or less. Our games can be modified based on age, needs, and abilities, including special challenges like color deficiencies. We have a free piece replacement policy. Just let us know what is missing, and if we have the piece, we will replace it free of charge with no proof of purchase required. Okay, let's get into those games, starting with Dreaming Dragon. This adorable game is for ages six and up. Using pinchers, players try to collect as many lizards as possible from atop the sleeping dragon without causing any of the golden eggs to fall. This game is also great for developing spatial reasoning skills while also practicing your pencil grip with the pinchers. A little known fact about this game, it nearly didn't get made. Thankfully it did and joined our line only because our CEO broke the Plaster of Paris prototype and couldn't return it to the designer. <laughs> Now here's a great tip. Don't be frightened by those 15 golden eggs in the game. A cookie sheet or a pizza pan placed underneath the dragon will keep those eggs staying within reach as they drop off the dragon. This is Get Four and Score. Reveal a category card, then let players try to come up with four words that begin with each of the letter cards on the board before the timer runs out. Let's try. Can you think of a movie that starts with the letter C? or a form of transportation that starts with an H? Or how about a condiment or topping that starts with an L? Though the age is eight and up, put the kids to bed and invite your friends over for game night. We like to let the adults have fun too, which is why we say our games go from age three to 103. Don't worry if you have a large group. This game can easily be played in teams. Also, make sure to have a dictionary handy as players can get creative when time and points are on the line. Okay, so who doesn't love dinosaurs? Dinosaur Challenge is a great game for dino lovers ages 7 and up. Don't think that the age rating on this game should keep it from younger kiddos. Five and six year olds probably know more about dinosaurs than you do. We help too by providing visual cues on the cards to allow even very young players to enjoy the game and often win just based on their visual observations. Each round starts with a challenge disc with an event like flood, fire, or lava flow. Players study the trait scores like speed, size, and toughness on their dinosaur cards and choose the one that they believe has the best chance against the other player's dinosaurs to beat the challenge. The players whose dinosaur has the highest total points keeps the challenge disc. Alvin, our senior artist, hand drew all the dinosaurs to their current known specifications at the time the game was developed. This is also when Trixie the dinosaur joined the Simply Fun family. Our licensor, Reiner Knizia, who has provided us with many of our great games, was so excited by this game, he sent her to us. You might catch a glimpse of her on our social media. <laughs> Next up is Kilter. This game is for ages eight and up. At first glance, many think this is a balancing game. It's not. This game helps teach the concept of levers. You know, like teeter-totters. Players place their blocks onto one of the raised arms on the seesaw while trying to keep the other blocks from falling off. The first player to place all their blocks on the seesaw wins. This is even a great game for non-game lovers and is the go-to game for dads. So funny that the original game looked just like a teeter-totter with only two arms for two players. Glad we pursued the four-player version as it is now our top-selling family game for all ages. Let me share with you a great post from one of our happy customers. I like to see age limits as nothing more than suggested guidelines. Iris is four and we played Kilter this morning, ages eight plus, and she loves it. We counted the blocks, talked about which one was bigger, which color had more blocks in the pile, and she asked for more blocks to add after we had finished the game. We have five to six Simply Fun games and they're all wonderful. If you enjoy a fun bingo style game, you'll love Is or Isn't. This award-winning game helps kiddos ages six and up expand their vocabulary, learning synonyms and antonyms. You know, the words that are the same as, 
and opposite of each other, like glad and happy, or happy and sad. This game features adorable little creatures that live in a thesaurus. Although the name sounds like it might be related to a dinosaur, a thesaurus is a book or website that lists words along with their synonyms and antonyms. As players move around the board, they may land on a word that may be on their bingo card, or on challenge spaces where they get an opportunity to use some of their words in a sentence. Graphical cues on the cards help your young learners know what matches they can make. Like bingo, there are many ways to play, from simple four in a row to a cover-all game, or with just synonyms or antonyms, creating a new experience each time you play. Looking for more great math games? Look no further. Math Room is one of our award-winning games for ages five and up. Math Room features our buddies Tibber, Digger the Dog, Berry Bear, and Pickles the Pig. Players imagine themselves as innkeepers, trying to fill all their rooms before the other players. Players take turns rolling the die and matching the color shown to a number on their room key. <laughs> Solving the equation on the key, and then cover the matching room window with a token to complete an equation. Quickly ring the bell before the other players, if you want to flip your key over for a new equation. Be the first player to fill all the rooms to win the game. This is a great game for working on addition and subtraction with numbers 1 through 10, helping kids develop their speed math skills. Share with your customers to watch how their little ones move from counting on their fingers to just knowing the answers as they play the game over time. Oh, and one more thing. Worried about the noise that bell makes driving you crazy? The bell can be temporarily disabled just by placing a piece of tape on the underside. No more ding. Here's another great word game, Word Bits, for ages eight and up. This card game is played with four dice, each with different letters on them. Players take turns drawing a category card, such as something that rolls, or desserts, and rolling the letter dice. All players try to think of a word that contains all the revealed letters and fits in the category. The first player to call out and then correctly spell a valid word collects that card, and the player with the most cards at the end wins. Some cards need only two letters, while the more difficult cards need all four letters to be used. You can remove the cards needing four letters to make it easier for early learners to play. And it is mom approved. If you look at the credits of the game, you will see the name of a woman on the box along with Reiner Knizia, the designer. That's his mom. She helped develop the game and he says it is her favorite among the games he has designed. Thanks, Mom. Do you love a good math challenge? This is Owl Solve That for ages 10 and older. Players adopt the roles of detectives with the Owl Solve That agency trying to solve equation mysteries. Using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division, players create equations that equal solution cards in their hand. The solutions can be as simple as adding or subtracting two cards, and as complex as adding and or subtracting, then multiplying and or dividing up to five cards. But remember that each card you use is worth one point. The game can be adjusted for younger players by using only addition and subtraction and by removing the solution cards greater than 50. Teachers love this game, and one recently shared, this game helps me level set one of my know-it-all fifth graders playing Owl Solve That together, doing all the math only in our heads, showed my advanced fifth grader that there still are math concepts he should practice because I beat him twice. We had so much fun creating our owl characters. You need to check out Owl of Hoots, Alfred Talon, Alexander Beak, and Alfonso Screech. And some super secret insider knowledge we made the little score tracker in a way that it acts as a magnifying glass in support of our mystery theme. Another great game is Digger's Garden Match. The age on the box says four and up, but this game can challenge all level of players, including you. Join our buddy Digger the Dog in this fun matching game. Players take turns matching the colors and shapes of their tiles to the tiles on the table for points. The player with the most points when all tiles have been played wins. Of all the games in our line, Digger's Garden Match probably has the most adaptability to play to the skill level of the player. Younger players will always find a single side match to play a tile, while older kids and adults try to maximize the number of sides matched during their turn. 
all ages can play together, because there's always a play that can be made. So the youngest of the group can still be part of the fun. An extra benefit of this game is that it can be played as a single player puzzle game, helping kids work on matching, color, and shape recognition. Another bonus, it can play up to six players with a brightly colored bone to help each player keep track of their score, boosting their counting skills. Next, we have Wake Up Stars. This game is for ages three and up. Players take turns playing along with our buddy Tibber, that's rabbit spelled backwards, folks, as they collect colorful stars and share stories about what makes them feel the emotion found on the faces of the stars. This game is a standout for SEL, Social Emotional Learning, the process of developing the self-awareness, self-control, and interpersonal skills needed for school and life success. It can also help parents learn what their kids are feeling or thinking about when they play together with them. We get so many great stories from our customers about our games. This game seems to have sparked some truly memorable ones. Yesterday, we were really busy and we needed a way to slow down and reconnect. I pulled out this new game we received before our road trip and it was definitely a hit. My child said, I'm sad when you are so busy and you don't really hear me. That, that's what hit me hard. We need to keep the communication open. But the best story probably came from our Simply Fun development team as they got a big surprise when the game first launched. They found out that customers love the foam stars so much they were being played with in the bathtub. We test for a lot of stuff in our games to make sure we meet the US ASTM standards for toys, but not always bath water. The team quickly tossed a bunch of stars in a bowl of water to make sure that they would hold up. They did, which makes us very happy. Last, but most certainly not least, we have our Family Stories chat ring. For ages five and up, this fun ring of cards has 98 questions to start conversations focused on you and your family. We have learned that even the less talkative relatives enjoy sharing their stories when asked. Here are a few example cards. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Name a relative or close friend who had an impact on you. Do you have a favorite family recipe? Where did it come from? Our chat ring format is a compact size with a carabiner attachment that can be clipped onto most bags, making it easy to travel with. Great to take and play anywhere. Suggest tossing this ring on the dinner table, put it in your car, or bring it along to a family reunion. You will be surprised at what you can learn about your family that you didn't know. The Family Stories chat ring was first released in 2006. It's so popular that it's been reprinted seven times. Each time we reprint our chat rings, we reevaluate the content to make sure they remain relevant and up to date with our changing times. So there it is, 10 amazing Simply Fun games. We hope you love these games as much as we do. Remember, if you're looking for more information about these and the rest of our games, along with how to play videos, you can find it all on our website. Game, Game on. on.